Hey guys, this is going to be a DIY for Happy Father's Day um, type of gift. And if you want to learn how to make these um, cute, these cute necktie business shirt treat uh, baggies or gift bags, then keep on watching. Okay, so this um, Father's Day goodie bag, um, gift bag, is really simple to make. You need three um, materials. First one is going to be a brown paper bag of, you know, whatever size you choose. I got a pack of these at CVS um, with my extra care bucks for like two dollars, so that was pretty good. And I think there was like probably like twenty four, or thirty six, or something in a bag. So this is just the um, general size, maybe about the size of a regular piece of uh, printing paper, and maybe what is it like eight inches by five inches or something? I don't know. And you will need um, some glue. I just use regular glue. You can use tape, double-sided tape, whatever you choose, a glue stick, um, scissors. And you will need some kind of uh, paper for the necktie. Because I am very frugal, I just used a um, newspaper that I found at work. One of the patients had left this there, so I was like, instead of throwing it away, um, I was going to use this. And this is more business type, and so I thought it would look cute for um, for the the little um, shirt things that I make, the collared shirts. And our doctors, um, which is who I'm going to be giving these to, and our doctors' husbands and stuff, um, you know, they're always dressed in, you know, slacks and and a shirt like this. So they're always dressed like real uh, professional. So I just thought it would be cute. So anyways, um, you just get whatever material. You can also use, if you want to do something frugal, you don't have a newspaper, you can go in to your grocery store or CVS or whatever and just grab the weekly ads and you can use that as the scrap paper for um, the neckties. So basically you just cut your, um, your piece of paper into shapes of neckties. Is what I did is I got one big piece of paper and I folded it about... Uh, probably about three inches wide and I just repeated that fold so that way I can cut once and have several different um, cuts of the exact same size so anyways and this is pretty cool because like the newspaper you can have this side or you can choose to have this side so it's up to you I found these cool ones that have color so these color ones are the ones gonna be uh, I'm gonna give to the doctors I have another one over there um, to the doctors I actually work with and then these um, black and white ones I'm gonna give to our female doctors husbands so so I just thought that was cool it's really easy to make so let's uh, get to the demonstration here so at the top of your um, what is it called? Uh, brown paper bag about an inch from the top. You're going to cut a slit about maybe an inch. Maybe it's like a quarter inch here. So you're going to cut it like that. On the other side, you're going to do the same thing. So I just flip it around and I just kind of guesstimate by eyeballing it. You kind of want this... Um, to be even these two sides and let me see if I can get to so I like this side not this one the one with the little flap I like this flat side for the tie so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the tie I imagine this line crossing here from the two cuts I'm gonna place it right at the top so that way it's like that so now I'm gonna glue um, one strip on the other side of this tie and place the tie down so that way it doesn't move So 
Sorry, I gotta open my glue. Duh. So this is just a demonstration. So I really don't care which side it's gonna go on, but I'm just gonna place it like that so that way it's flat. Okay, so there we go. Now, these slits, you're going to open them. So this is this collapse and this one's open. Okay, sorry, I keep moving the camera, but I'm trying to get this shot. So I'm going to open this, and because this did not cut all the way, I'm going to just cut it through. So that way it's like this. I'm going to do that on both sides. Doesn't matter if you mess up. So this center fold here, on the very center, I'm going to cut that. Same thing right here, this center fold. I'm going to cut this. Now the back. This is the back. I'm going to cut this off. Just straight across. This doesn't have to be perfect. It's still going to look cute regardless. So now we have this front part. And now we're going to fold this down. You don't need to cut it anymore. And um, the first few that I did, I did cut them. So the, the neck was like sh really small like that. But it's up to you. But I just kind of, you know what, it's just to make it easier for me since I'm making like a whole bunch. I'm just going to glue it down like that. Don't even have to cut it again. And you're going to just place them just enough to where they overlap slightly. As if it were a real shirt. So there we go. Okay, so this is the final product. And on the sides here, just make sure to um, put a few extra glue drops just so that way it will, will stay when you open it. And that is it. If you like this uh, tutorial, give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. And as what I'm planning on um, putting in these are home-baked goods. And I'm just going to do... Right now I'm doing snickerdoodle cookies. I'm going to be doing some Rice Krispie treats and chocolate chip cookies. And I'm just going to put them separately in different baggies, little Ziploc baggies, and label them. And that will be on the doctor's desk uh, tomorrow morning. Alright, thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will do more videos like this. Thanks.